So I'm like sitting here cutting my nails and I'm looking over here, this big Bismarck palm. There's something black there. There, I don't know what that is. I'm sort of scared to go look at it, to be honest. Oh, it's the beginning of a beehive. Oh, no bueno. Not freaking cool. Nope. Buenos dias, amigos, I'm Sean. And that's Astrid, and we did it. We sold everything, traded our hectic New York City lifestyle for a more beachy existence here in Mexico. Along with our two cats, Sanderson and Indo, this is Sean in Paradise. Sleep has been really hard, and getting up in the morning has been harder. And I really love mornings. Like, I love waking up and hammering a pot of coffee and like getting down into my day. But I can't just drink coffee like that anymore because now I'm 45 and I've got this ulcer. So I have to wake up, I have to do a, oh, first I have to take a pill and then I let the pill chill for a little bit, and then I take a shot of olive oil to coat my stomach, and then I eat a whole banana, and then I can walk outside and have some coffee. And I really cherish these moments. I realize that I have such a luxury of time, of a freedom of time at my hands, and it's not something that I squander or waste, and it's something I'm always aware of. I haven't had a quote-unquote real job in just about seven years. What was that? And I know that that sounds amazing, but how do you know your value when you don't receive a paycheck? How do you know your worth when you don't have any monetary scale to measure it by? Astrid does just an amazing job providing for us. She works super hard, but she loves what she does, and she wouldn't have it any other way. So I take my responsibilities around the house very seriously. Look, I'm not gonna lie, life in paradise is awesome, but just like anything else, you know, ugh. you know, everything in moderation. And you can only have so many perfect sunsets, perfect days surfing, and sometimes you gotta mix in a little bit of this. It's been like a year since I've left. Yeah, it's been a year. <sighs> USA, here we come. We got a backpack, some stuff. We got my crystal. I got my hair farm. I'm super excited to go see Nick. I'm excited to maybe surf, but I'm super excited to get like two new to me surfboards. That's like the whole reason for the trip. Kind of crazy, but it's all right. I'm in such vacation mode right now that I'm not even like moving on the people walker. I don't care. Yeah, right. It's totally like it's got the long, like it's, the, it's, it's symmetrical. Yeah, yeah. Still good. Check out this whole situation here, right? It's not too bad. And of course, I pick up two new boards and I'm totally injured. But it was still fun hanging on the beach and getting to film all the surfers.
session in the books. We surfed Salt Creek, Nick and I, and uh, even though my foot's having a lot of problems with that giant cut that I have, the new Rip Curl Reef Booty is like super sick. I'm definitely stoked on that and check out the new board. She's so pretty. And of course, like in full Sean style, I'm already rocking like a giant pressure ding, but it's not too bad, so I'm stoked. But yeah, this board's feeling good. My foot naturally goes back here for the thruster. I need to be kind of creeping back up into this direction. Lamborghini SUV. We are certainly not in Mexico anymore. What year is that? 63. Day three of an intense, intense vacation and I'm about to do something. We're about to do something that I've literally never done in my life and I'm probably I'm probably gonna win. Probably gonna win? No, nope. no way. I'm probably gonna win. No way. How many times have you done it? Uh, once. I'm still gonna win. There's no way. K1 speed, they're open race now. Wow. Get the fuck out, this is crazy. Like, what's the secret? All right. Just to go with the flow. All right. Uh, zen. Zen. Don't say pink. I definitely want pink. <laughs> Boom. You really want pink? Yeah. yeah. Who do I care? <laughs> how do you make this cool? All right, so are we racing each other, or how does it work? I mean, we're racing each other and the clock, right? And the clock, all right. Yeah. <laughs> So races are based on your lap time and not your position. Do, do we get to keep the checker flag when we win? Uh, no. <laughs> no, all right. All right. <laughs> I couldn't do that for more than 10 minutes. We just did it for 10 minutes, and it was too much. Ten, 10 minutes is insane for that. You're so like, that's more than surfing. It's absolutely more than surfing. First, how's it feel? Very good. Very good. I, so, I gotta thank Sean for I think you gotta thank the driving shoes. Documented, I was six the first time, and then I got up to almost, to almost Nick. Yeah. Hammered them. Ah. Cool, baby bucks. Dry rubbing and marinating or marinating. Love it. This the whole situation. Gospel, all purpose. This is good. Delicate, beautiful. Dude, that does look insane. How are you feeling about this performance here? It looks good. Well, on a scale of one to ten, I, I, I'm going nine on these. All right, 
Number one is just plain meat, no sauce yet. <laughs> what? Put sauce on it. Oh my god. No sauce, dude. Wow. That's what you do right here. How big can an eagle get when the fuel don't feed the fire? My whole deal is I always love being like the last person on the plane. I don't see the point of like getting on at the right time and waiting and waiting. You're gonna be on the plane sitting the whole time. I like to just totally, look, I don't check anything. I don't put anything up above. So my bag goes right under the seat. Look, that's civilized. But having like all these people in front of you and COVID, so just chill, wait till the very end. Last call, no matter where I sit. So I just got in from uh, California yesterday and got home and I today I cleaned the house and I just figured I gotta get into the I gotta get to the beach, you know? Just getting back into Mexico and look at this empty beach.